Juggling a soccer ball is a fun skill and pastime that can be used to improve balance, dexterity, and agility. One of the benefits of learning how to juggle is it's a pretty simple thing to do. All you need is a ball and ideally a pair of shoes as it's doable barefoot, but it's uncomfortable. On top of that, space is also very beneficial as when you're learning, you will probably be running around a lot and you will probably hit a lot of things if you are indoors. Today, I'm gonna to do my best to teach you how to juggle a soccer ball using uh, six main steps. The first being how to get the ball in the air, then how to position yourself in relation to the ball, how to control the ball, how to use both feet, how to stall the ball, and I'll throw in how to do a trick, although that's something that will become a lot easier with practice rather than simple instructions. The first step when learning how to juggle a soccer ball is actually getting the ball in the air. Now, when you're starting, many people will just pick up the ball, drop it, let it bounce, and start juggling. But in reality, you probably want to be able to do it without your hands, seeing as it is a soccer they skill and hands aren't really that big in soccer. Um, so what I would do is position yourself about a leg distance away from the ball, put your foot over the ball, and slowly practice just rolling it back at a nice pace where you're able to get your foot behind the ball before it gets to your other foot. Once you've got that down, you wanna try rolling the ball onto your foot and scooping the ball with your foot once it gets to about this far up your foot. If you can practice that, by the end, you should be able to let it roll up and pop up off your foot. One of the most important things when juggling a soccer ball is maintaining a comfortable distance between you and the ball. If the ball is too close to you when you're juggling, you'll end up tripping over the ball or the ball may even hit your knee on the way up, causing you to drop the ball. Another problem you may run into is if you keep it too far away, you'll be stretching or running after the ball, leaving you off balance and therefore making it a lot harder to control the ball. A comfortable distance is usually between your knee and your foot when making a 45 degree angle between your two legs. Anywhere in this zone is in pretty easy reach for a comfortable touch. Once you've got the distance down, it's important to know how you should kick the ball. One of the main issues you see when learning how to juggle is a lot of people won't lock their ankle. Now, it's up to preference whether you want your foot like this or like this. I think this is a lot easier when juggling higher up, but close, I prefer to lock my foot close and make a small angle with my leg. But as long as your ankle's locked, you'll run into less problems. If your ankle's flimsy, the ball will kind of just go everywhere. It'll be a lot harder to control. When juggling the ball, it's important you're not kicking at the ball extremely hard in order to get it high up in the air. As even though in theory that would give you more time to get the next ball, it's probably gonna be a lot further away and you don't really know where it's going. Each time you hit the ball, you wanna do a minimal movement with your leg and your knee kind of skipping up at the ball. That way, the ball won't go that far, but it will still get enough force on it that you can adjust. One problem that many people run into when juggling a soccer ball is they become dependent on one foot. Now, I do this myself sometimes, being left-footed. I like the ball on my left foot. It feels more comfortable. But in order to really succeed in juggling and be able to get high scores, so to speak, you need to be able to use both feet. Now, one of the best ways is to practice just controlling the ball on each foot individually. You can either start by implementing a bounce in between each touch, or you can just get right into it and juggle between the two. One thing that's imperative when juggling with both feet is that you give yourself enough time to step down with the other foot. That will help it be easy to control the ball because you don't always know where it's going to go and then if it goes over here you at least have a foot down to react and then the next one could be over here you want to put that left foot down so you can stretch with your right foot to get it
One of the best ways to practice control in soccer is stalling the ball. Stalling the ball is like catching the ball with your foot. The best way to learn how to do this is to practice by rolling the ball back and making sure you can get your foot behind the ball before it reaches your second foot. Once you've got that down, you want to mimic the action we did when getting the ball up, but instead of popping it up, you just want to cradle it on your leg. Once you've got that down, you may be able to learn a new trick called the around the world. This is the action where you put your whole leg around the ball and hit it, the ball up before it hits the ground again. The best way to learn the around the world is via a stall, in my opinion, where you just practice. And then what you want to do is pop off your balance foot and quickly shoot your foot around the ball like so. Once you've practiced the around the world in the stall, you can then do it while actively juggling. And it's a cool trick to know how to do. Hopefully from this video, you have learned some tips and tricks on how to juggle a soccer ball, which is a pastime that improves dexterity, flexibility, touch on the ball, and agility. To do a quick recap, we started this by talking about how to get the ball off the ground before moving into how to relate yourself positionally with the ball, how to control the ball, how to use both feet effectively, how to stall the ball, and how to do a quick trick called the around the world. I hope you've learned something today, and I hope if you ever see a ball on the street, you may be inclined to try to implement some of these tricks, and maybe one day you will also enjoy juggling a soccer ball as a pastime. Thank you.